To work with HTTP requests and responses in Angular, we need a backend. Now, we don't use Angular to create backend solutions because Angular is simply a JavaScript framework for creating frontend applications. However, you can create your own backend solutions using PHP or Node or any other server side language, but that is out of the scope of this course. So, what we are going to do is we are going to use an existing backend solution provided by Google, which is called as Firebase. Now, Firebase might sound like a database only, but it provides entire backend solution with APIs and it's perfect backend solution to learn HTTP requests and responses in Angular. Firebase is free to get started with and we can send different types of requests there and we can easily see the changes which we make through these requests. In Firebase, we can create a database, we can store data in that database, we can fetch data from that database and we can also delete data from the database. Therefore, it's a perfect solution which we can use for learning purposes. Let's open the web browser and here let's search for Firebase. You can click on this first link and here you need to log in using your Google credentials. So here let's go ahead and let's click on this get started and let's click on this create a project. Here, we need to provide a name for the project. Let's call it Angular by Procademy. Let's select the terms and conditions and let's also select the second checkbox and let's continue. So this will create a new Firebase project. Now here, this enable Google Analytics for this project has been enabled. So let's disable it here. We don't need it. And then let's click on this create project. And here it is creating our project. Let's wait for some time. So our project is ready now. Let's click on this continue button. Let's select this build option here. And here we want to create a database. And we want to create a real time database. And again, Remember that Firebase is not just a database. It's a complete backend solution that also offers a database, but it's not just a database. Here, let's click on this create database button and you can select the location here. So I will keep the default one and I'll click on next. And here we need to select this second option, this start in test mode. And this is important. Later, we will add authentication. But for now, we will use test mode to be able to send request and work with data without being restricted. Normally, we would like to protect our database from unwanted access. But here, we are temporarily disabling it so that we can interact with the database without any issues. Okay. So let's click on this enable button. And here, our database is created. Now, this database does not have anything right now. The only thing which you can see here is this URL and it is this URL which will work as an endpoint or at least it will be a part of the endpoint. We will work with this URL to send data and receive data from this database from our next lecture. In this lecture, I simply wanted to show you step by step how you can set up Firebase. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.